Hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. This time I wanted to show you how to use uh, my high quality reflective metal packs series uh, from the Unity Asset Store. Specifically, we are going to see how materials can reflect other objects simulating metal surfaces and how to configure your scene to do that. So, if we open the asset, you can see that they have some sample materials that they created. So we have uh, green metal, we can use also a rough metallic surface or another type, or we can even use like this that is one of my favorites, or even a wrinkled metal material. In this case, you can see that uh, the material looks nice, it looks metallic, but it has yet no reflection on it. You can see that there is also an emissive ball with orange color that is not having any impact over the metallic surfaces. So to make uh, the reflection work, we are going to use a trick using reflective uh, capture probes. So what we are going to do is just imagine uh, the single object. We are going to tell to this object to capture around it every object that uh, is present inside the scene, so that uh, the shader of the material that is used by this object is going to consider those objects and reflect them. So here is the object. We're going to create over it a reflection probe. So we open this, and we can see that the size of the reflection probe is pretty much the same of the uh, rock in this case. Uh, one important thing to do is enable the box projection plug to start with, and then reduce a little bit actually the size so that we are going to have the reflection a little more size to the uh, metallic object that we are using. Same we are going to do for the other objects. So we're going to create also here a reflection probe. So create from light and then here again box projection and then 0 0.55 and then same thing we are going to create a reflection probe here and we are going to enable box projection then 5, 5 and 5 so that pretty much they are centered on the object themselves you can see that in editor before we start nothing is working uh, also because the configuration that we use for now for the reflection probe is baked. What it means is that if we want, we can bake basically the reflection and uh, it will stay the same during the whole uh, play uh, and run time of the game. Sometimes this is enough for you because you can see that a little bit the reflections are emulating the sky and the floor, but it's not accurate because still we are unable to capture, for example, the orange sphere or the, uh, the reflective surfaces among each other. So instead, what we want to do is we go to the reflection probe and we set its type to real time. And then as refresh mode, which means how many time is going to check uh, the objects around it, we're going to set every frame. This is a little heavy, computationally speaking. Uh, so sometimes if you have a lot of reflection probes in the scene, it's going to take quite a lot of performances. So you can even decide to write a script that is going just to refresh, for example, the reflections over the surface uh, only when you need. Uh, um, suggestion would be, for example, only, only when this ball uh, is moving. And uh, as you can see here, since I'm not in play mode, it will, in editor, only capture the first frame and not all the others. And this is done for performance optimization. We're going to do the same then on the reflection probe of the other objects. So we're going to set to real time every frame and the same for the green one. So we go here, oh sorry, for the other one, which was this one. So we go real time, we go every frame and that's pretty much uh, what we need. Now, if I play, you can see that the reflection, once the game starts, will at least follow the orange sphere. So you can see that here, 
we're getting close to a solution that is kind of working properly. So I can see that the reflection of the sphere is a little more realistic in this case. So I can approach a little bit the metallic surfaces. I can go up and then I will see more the sphere on top and less on the bottom. And this is a little improvement over the previous uh, setup of our scene. One more thing that we can do to make it even better is to add one last reflection probe on the sphere itself. So if we do this, we're going to have a small improvement as well. So we are going to set again the size be comparable more or less with the object. So you can see that the reflection probe is around the sphere, more or less. Uh, it's going to be box projection again, it's going to be a real time and every frame. And this is going to help with the reflection calculation. So if I come again close to the metallic surface, I will see that the reflection is going to be more accurate. So here you can see that all the orange is going to be more where the proximity is going to be. It also changes a little bit uh, according to where the camera is going to be. So if it's here or if it's closer, you can see that the reflection will adapt to the point of view of the player. You can see also here the projection is affecting the metal and that seems to be already a working solution. At the same time, we can also test with, uh, for example, the floor material. So if we want also to add this other material, you can see that automatically the sphere is mapped also over the plane. So if I change its position, it's going to be also reflected over the plane. And one thing to notice is that uh, this is a trick, a visual trick, obviously. So it's not uh, physically accurate, I would say, uh, because we are not using ray tracing or anything else. But it's close enough to give the impression uh, to the player that the metal is actually reflecting in the right way. You can see also in the distance here that the metal is still projecting uh, the material, the or orange material, the sphere over it. And, uh, everything is affecting everything else. So this is quite useful, especially when we want uh, something quite uh, realistic with just the use of materials and reflection probes. And hopefully we'll make uh, a good uh, advantage for you uh, and your scenes to make more realistic projects. I hope you liked this short tutorial and if you have any other question, feel free to ask. Thank you.